Oke okay, teman-teman kita sekarang lagi main Train World Sim Train Sim World apa Sim Train World Sim Ya sekarang kita masuk ke sini ya Oke okay, dibuka Kantong aja itu Pick up the fuel house. <laughs> Take it over to the locomotive and attach the hose to the fuel tank. Okay, come on, come on. Return to the fuel stand and activate the refueling. Pump. bensin dulu pak, isi bensin kereta api gitu. The system will automatically switch off once the tank is full. You can see the state of refueling by observing the indicator on the side of the fuel tank. Oh, ya, sorry. Oh, sorry, butuh seratus liter. Pick up the hose and put it back on the fuel stand. Then replace the fuel tank. Okay, refueling lokomotif sudah selesai. Sekarang kita ke tahap berikutnya. Maaf aja gua kelihatan enggak kelihatan gitu. Kelihatan enggak kelihatan sih. Ini ya, karena kamera yang gua pakai ini langsung built in dari si laptop. Train brakes stereo. This is where you'll learn all about train brakes and how they work. Hey, katanya bagus loh sekarang. On this locomotive, there are three braking systems available to the engineer. Dynamic, auto, and independent. Independent. Dynamic brakes work by reversing the polarity of the traction motor. When a train is moving, this action causes resistance against the turning axis. As this system only works when the axles are turning, this means the dynamic brake cannot stop a train, only slow it down. Train or auto brakes work by controlling air pressure in a brake pipe that runs the entire length of the train. This pipe connects to brake cylinders located on each individual car. In turn, these cylinders push directly onto the wheels to slow them down. Locomotive or independent brakes are similar in operation to the auto brake. However, this brake only affects the locomotive itself, not the entire train. The independent brake is used when switching cars in a yard. Or for holding a stop train on level or low grade. Oh, ada tiga rem ternyata. When the auto brake is applied, it directly affects something called the equalizing reservoir. Think of this readout as the target pressure for the air-controlled brakes on the train. Next to it is the brake pipe pressure. This indicates the overall brake pressure along the train. So as the engineer, you set the desired pressure via the equalizing reservoir, and then the brake system will react to match this target. Perform a brake application on this train of 20 cars to see this process in action.
Using the auto brake, reduce the equalizing reservoir. Watch for the brake pipe pressure indication to change, matching this reduction, and applying the brakes on the train. Now let's see the same process on a much larger train. Head over to the adjacent locomotive and climb into the cab. This train has a hundred cars. Let's see what difference this has on the reaction speed of the brakes. Repeat the equalizing reservoir reduction from before, again using the auto brake. Watch how long it now takes for the brake pipe pressure to match. The skill of the engineer is knowing when to start braking. Now that we have seen the brakes at home, let's see how long it takes to release them. Using the auto brake, set the equalizing reservoir back to its previous position. This action triggers the brake. Mm, the bone. Coloring, wah ini, ini barang-barang ini harus diloading. Coal loading is a common occurrence on Sandpatch Grade, so we better take a look at how to do it. To engage the loading process, the train must be moving at a constant rate and not exceeding the speed limit. In order to move the train very slowly, this locomotive is fitted with speed control. This is located on the integrated function display.
Hello, mana ni? Hello, hello. Set target to speed dua kilo dua miles per hour. Oh, mungkin ini. Bukan sih. Ana pak. Speed error. Set target to miles per hour. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Cara ngesetnya gimana? Anjir. Menu nggak bisa. Eh, F6 menjir. Nggak bisa, anjir. Mana ini pak? Kau tak boleh dia apa-apa ini pak? Ah ini 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 ini. Oh kan enam. Okay. We're now ready to move under the coal loader ahead, so get the train moving. As we have set the slow speed control, it does not matter what throttle position is used. The locomotive will only travel at the indicated speed. Eh jalan dong. Kereta lain ke jalan. Anjir, agak sulit ni ni kereta ya. Rumit pak. When the train is within range, the loader will activate. And a notification will appear. Hey, bro, you don't need that. I'm not. As each coal passes under the chute, the loader will dispense coal until it is full. This will continue until all the cars are loaded. With the train under semi-automatic control, you can watch the loading process from an external camera. Okay. 
sambil jalan gitu ya kalau ngelot ya To bring the train to a halt, return the throttle handle to idle, and on the integrated function display, press slow speed control off. Now bring the train to a stop. Ah, sekarang berhenti. Stop the train at any time. Kita tunggu ini aja. Okay, okay, check the complete. Okay, teman-teman, loading call sudah selesai. Kita akan bertemu. Mungkin ya. Ditunggu ya updateannya. Okay, terima kasih and. Cheers, thanks.